Hello everyone. Today we will be solving a problem from Code Forces Round 215 Division 2 Srija and Suffixes. Let us see what the problem has told us. So Srija has an array of length n. Okay. So there is a boy who wants to study an array. So for to help him, Srija took out a piece of paper and wrote out m integers uh, l i l to up to l m. Okay. So for each number l i, he the boy wants to know how many distinct numbers are staying on the position l i l i plus one up till n. So formally, what he wants is he wants to find the number of distinct numbers among the array that Srija has. So the basically what the problem has told us that Srija has an array of length n uh, and she wrote m integers for the boy. So the boy wants to find out how many distinct numbers are there in Srija's arrays. Okay, among the a1, a, ai plus 1 up till an. Okay, so the input the first line should contain two integers n and m and the second line should contain n integers means the array values. And the next m lines must contain the integers that Srija has written for the boy. So we have to print m lines on the, we have to print how many distinct numbers are there among the array that Srija has. So let us go to the code and code it out. So let's code it out. Uh, so we'll write in include bits slash stdc plus plus dot h using namespace std int main so first of all we'll take the size of the array that srija has it will be n and then we will input n uh, they also need uh, the length of uh, the m inputs that srija wrote for the boy so we'll take m as also as input so n will be the size of Srija's array and n will be the input that Srija wants to give to the boy. Then we will take an array of size n plus 1 as it will be a 1 plus 1 base indexing. So we will take an input for that array for int i equals to 1 i less than equals to n i plus plus c in array of i. So, so now after the input of that array, we need to find the distinct elements. For distinct elements, we will use an set here. So, set int of s. Okay, so we uh, run a for loop from the reverse order. For int i equals to n i greater than 0 i minus minus. So, on each step, uh, the set will store the distinct elements. Okay s dot insert array of i and the ith position of that array will now store the size of the set on each iteration okay s dot size in the reverse order okay so we have got the distinct elements and now the array of i uh, has stored the size of the array now we have to like input the m integers that series has written for the boy so let's write it out for int i equals to 1 i less than equals to m i plus plus c in we have to write a take a variable int p so c in p so now we have to uh, return the number of uh, distinct elements on that indexes so we will write c out array of p so it will return the distinct elements on that indexes so we will finally return 0 so just take an input let's see if it's running or not Six 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 six. Let's see. Six 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 five four three two one. Yeah, it's running absolutely fine. So if anyone hasn't understood it yet, let us uh, dry run the code. Okay. 
so that you can understand it better so first of all uh, we have the size of n and m so let's take this as n and m so it will be the n size of the array srija has and the m number of inputs she returns so this will be the array that srija has so let's take that array okay now we have a set now we have a set we have to insert the distinct elements so for distinct elements we will go from the reverse order okay first we will store 999999 then it will be it's commented out 1000 4 3 2 1 so let's see how many distinct elements uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 distinct elements and now the array is uh, array will uh, store the size of that uh, size of the set at that index okay for example let me show you so array of 10 that will then will contain the size means at present at first it will be only one okay similarly array of 9 will store it will be two because now will be another distinct element array of 8 will store three because we have four now array of 7 will store Four because we have three as a new element. Array of six will store five as we have another new element. Array of five will store six because now we have another new element one. From now onwards, there is no more element, so it will all store. Array of four is equal to six. Array of Three is also equal to six. Array of two is also six because we don't have any new elements, so the size will remain the same. Array of one is also having six. Okay, it is how the array will store the values. Let's comment it out, and then we have taken the and uh, the number of m characters right so for each and every m character like let's see here it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay let's check it so let's paste it here you paste it out so for one our value will be 6 ah uh, because array of one contains 6 for two also it will be 6 then for three it will also be 6 ah uh, for four it will also be 6 for five it is also 6 for six it will now be 5 For seven it will be four. For eight it will be three. For nine it will be two. And for ten it will be one. So, so let's see if the output is okay or not. Six 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 and. It is five four three two one five four three two one. Yes, it's absolutely correct. Let's comment it out. Okay, let's run it again to see if there is any error or not. No, it's absolutely showing fine. Let's download the code. Okay, let's submit it. yeah it's working absolutely fine so we'll see you in the next video thank you